Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless. This is the iPad version. And what I'm doing is I'm going to take this nice photo and make it a little more dramatic. And on the desktop version, I did, I created blinds and I showed you how to create the blinds themselves. And you can watch that version too if you go on to YouTube. And on this version for the iPad, I'm creating window panes. So let's get started. Okay, I'm in Affinity Photo and I'm just going to go New, Document. And it does not matter what size because what we'll do is we'll clip the canvas, which will make it the size of whatever photo we're using. So I'll just click OK. Again, I don't care what size it is. And now I'm going to Stock Photos, which is right here. And in Pixels, I am going to tap that and type Man Reading. And I'm searching for a man reading. And this is the picture I chose right here. And I'm going to just bring it here. And definitely too big, obviously. So let's close that up. And you can see it's, it's way too big for the canvas. So now what I can do up here is go to Canvas, Clip Canvas. And now your document is the exact same size as the photo you've just brought in. So the first thing I want to do is I really just want to convert it to a black and white. So that's, uh, so what I'll do, remember if you have the question mark on the bottom here and you press it, it tells you what you're looking for. So I'm going to go to adjustments, which is right here. And I'm just going to turn it to a black and white. And I'll leave all the settings the way they are. So now we go back to the move to. And and I want to make sure that black and white only affects the picture itself. So I'm going to take that and drag it down and to the right. And now it's underneath. So if you look under this pointer right here, it's clipped to the picture. So the black and white is only going to affect, affect that picture. So next thing I want to try is I'm going to create window panels. So I'm going to go to here and the rectangle tool. And I'm just going to do a bunch of rectangles, just like this, maybe about that size. Go back to the pick move tool. Now this is the command controller here. If you don't see it, they moved it. This last time it was always here. This time it's you have to go to the hamburger menu and say toggle command controller on and off. I usually leave mine on. I like it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to press this down and go up and and just hold and tap on the shift. So I want that to be a shift all the time. So now I'm going to duplicate. And then I'm going to drag it over. And now that the shift is on, it stays in the same place. So I'm going to go to maybe like that. I'm going to press down and hey, duplicate. I'm going to keep this open. I'm going to tag that. So now I have another duplicate. And because that shift is on, it stays in line. So I'm going to press down again, duplicate. And you notice it's doing the automatic thing. And I was trying to do that in the first place, but I had trouble doing it. But I'll keep doing that. So now I just, because I screwed up in the first two, I'm going to just select them all. And then go up to this align here on top and say space horizontally. So now they're all even like that. Now the next thing I want to do is take them all and group them, which is right there. And I'm going to, I'm going to rasterize it. There's no reason to keep them grouped. So I'm just going to, once again, I'm going to press down and it should say rasterize. There it is. So now it's one pixel layer. Now I want to duplicate it again. So I'm going to press down, duplicate, move down. And since the shift is there, it's making me stay in line. And then I'm going to press down again, duplicate again. We're all set now for the window. So now I'm going to take them all, group them. And I'm also going to rasterize that. So press down and rasterize. So that's the main thing that we need to do. We just had to set that up. And I'm going to take snapping off. I thought it was off, but it's snapping for some reason. There we go. I'm 
But okay, so now I'm going to shrink this a little bit. And next thing I'm going to do is go to filters. And I'm going to do live filters in the beginning just so I know I get it right until I'm sure of where it wants to be. So I'm going to do perspective. And I'm going to drag this corner. Whoops, undo that. I use two fingers I tap to undo. I'm going to drag this corner, say like that, and like that, and maybe here. And I'm just trying to think of where the light might be coming from. So now what we'll do is we'll take that layer. Let's rasterize that. Now I'm going to go to the liquify mode. And what a fairly big brush this is with. Okay, so with, the, with a fairly good sized brush, I'm going to push up a little bit on the face because when the shadows come in, like here on the arm, they wouldn't come in straight. They would kind of curve around it a little bit. So I'm just kind of going to do a little bit of push and pull here. And I don't want to do too much. Just want to make it look like it's not all going straight. And I think that's not bad, actually. Maybe in the face here a little bit, and a little bit up. And let's say apply with the checkbox. And now the last thing I want to do is make it a little more dramatic. So I'm selecting the image layer. And now I'm going to take a rectangle and go over the whole thing. I'm going to turn snapping on because I want the rectangle to be the same size as my canvas so it'll snap to that place and now I'm going to go to the gradient right here and I'm going to go from one corner to the other and I'm going to change the blend mode again to probably overlay or soft light let's let's go with overlay we might have to change that and now we're going to blah, blah, blah. Okay, and now let's move this out of our way. And now we're going to, we need to change the colors, of course. I think from the top, we want to change that to like a yellowish, a pale yellow maybe, because that's kind of the light coming in. And then let's go here to the bottom and maybe give it a blue, some sort of a blue color, like that. And let's go out further here and maybe further here. And it's way, way too strong. I'm not happy with this. Okay. And I don't like the way that's looking. So let's take that now. Instead of overlay, maybe soft light. Ah, I like soft light much better. Okay. We'll stick with that. Maybe a little less of the light here. Just like barely shining on him. And I think maybe the blue should be darker. Let's go to the blue and go into the darker blues. I think that might work a little better. I don't like the right side of the photo, so I'm going to crop it because I don't like that black on the right side. So I'll probably crop it there and do apply. And now that's the final product. So let's look at the before and after. This is before, after. So I hope you liked this tutorial. And if you did, please click like and subscribe. And if you want to see how we made blinds, uh, check out the tutorial I just did on the desktop version. All right. Have a great day. Bye.